I mean, it's a bit freaky because it's so real. Absolutely, yeah. Welcome to this morning. I'm thrilled to be here and I can't wait for the fun to begin. For quite some time now, the recent advancements in AI technology seem to be having a concurrent ripple effect on the development of robotic technology. This isn't just a recent trend, it's been around since the evolution of AI. It's been a continuous race towards the creation of artificial intelligence that will mimic the cognitive process in humans and even go beyond. And each level has been very crucial in this advancement. In this video, we'll take you through the different stages in the development of robotics and the crucial role AI has played in each level. Let's begin. Number 1. Pre-programmed robots Being the most popular type of robot out there, this is the type that you're probably most familiar with, as they've been employed in different ways by various companies. Pre-programmed robots, also known as single-purpose robots, are robots that are designed to perform a specific task or set of tasks. This makes them quite useful in carrying out tasks that are normally thought boring by humans. As the name suggests, they're typically programmed with a sequence of steps to follow, and they'll continue to repeat those steps until they're turned off or instructed to do otherwise. These robots are often used in industrial settings where they can perform repetitive tasks with precision and accuracy. They're used in a variety of applications, such as in manufacturing and warehousing. One of the most popular examples of these robots is the robotic arms that you would typically see in automobile manufacturing plants. They're often given specific tasks, such as fixing particular engine parts or other components of the vehicles being manufactured. They have great advantages for factory owners, especially when it comes to the aspect of cutting the cost of production and functioning at a greater efficiency than any human. Fatigue is also eliminated as a factor in operation as the machines will work around the clock with proper maintenance. But unlike modern robots, these machines are incapable of adapting to changes in their environments and might break down if these changes become adverse. Pre-programmed robots have several advantages. They are typically less expensive to develop and manufacture than more complex robots. They are also more reliable and easier to operate since they don't require any human intervention. Number 2. Reactive Robots Reactive robots took the game up a notch from the pre-programmed machines. Although they're still pretty much pre-programmed, but they're more susceptible to react to changes in their environment than the former. To better understand reactive robots, they're a type of robot that are designed to respond to their environments in real time. They carry out these functions by typically having a set of sensors which allows them to perceive their surroundings and they use this information to make decisions about how to move and behave. And you shouldn't mistake these robots for being capable of understanding natural language, they're still very far from that. They still depend largely on what they've been pre-programmed to do, which requires specific instructions to enable them to function. Take for instance the technology used in Tesla's autopilot systems. This AI can make use of different sensors to identify obstacles on the driving path, set temperature and perform other related tasks which are based on abilities they've already been given from the factory. They can't learn beyond that. This technology still seems a little rusty, as users are not supposed to depend on them totally to make the right decision always. Regardless, reactive robots have several advantages over pre-programmed robots. They're more flexible and adaptable to changes in their environment. They're also more robust and can continue to operate even if some of their sensors fail. The need for more efficient systems takes us to the next on the list. Number 3. Teleoperated Robotics well, since machines haven't been able to give the desired response to tasks on their own just yet, machines were made to become an extension of their human controllers. Teleoperated robotics are basically types of robotics in which a robot is controlled remotely by a human operator via some kind of controller. Operators typically use joysticks, keyboards, or other input devices to send commands to the robot. The robot then executes those commands using its sensors and actuators. These robots have some really important applications. Teleoperated robots are often used in dangerous environments such as nuclear power plants, disaster zones, and underwater exploration sites. They can also be used in applications where it's difficult or impossible for a human to reach, such as space exploration and deep sea exploration. The current rover being used in the exploration of Mars is a very good example of this type of machine. 
Also, in the military, unmanned aerial vehicles fall into this class and are used in stealth missions. These also include drones, which are used for a variety of applications, such as aerial photography, mapping, and surveillance. They're controlled by a pilot on the ground. These machines come in handy in the field of medicine, allowing surgeons to operate on patients remotely. The surgeon controls the robot's arms and instruments using a console located in another room. Teleoperated robots, though really important, have some shortcomings. There tend to be a lag between the times some gestures are made and the time they reflect on the robotic arms, making them a bit unsuitable for sensitive tasks. Teleoperated robotics is a rapidly developing field with the potential to revolutionize many industries and applications. Number 4. Autonomous Robots Things start to get a lot more interesting from here. With autonomous robots, we start to get really close to robots having thoughts of their own. They're able to, just as the name says, operate without human supervision while operating according to the dynamics of their environment. These robots are typically equipped with a variety of sensors such as cameras, lidar, and radar which they use to perceive their surroundings. They also have a computer system that allows them to process sensory data and make decisions on how to move and behave. Autonomous robots are used in a wide variety of applications, and one good instance is the delivery robots, which are quickly becoming popular in some countries. They're being used by some food delivery services and even Amazon to deliver their goods to customers. You also have other machines like robotic vacuum cleaners and some industrial robots. Autonomous robots have many advantages over humans. They tend to focus only on tasks they're given and are also cheaper for company owners. These robots can also work longer hours and harder than humans, and they can also be more precise and consistent. However, autonomous robots are also more complex and expensive to develop and deploy than human-controlled robots. They're also more difficult to program and maintain. Also, they tend to be less secure than actual human deliveries. There have been records of delivery robots being attacked and looted in their paths. Researchers are working on a variety of approaches to address these challenges. For example, they are developing new machine learning algorithms that can help robots perceive and interpret their environment more accurately. They are also designing robots that can learn from their experiences and adapt to new environments. Autonomous robotics is a rapidly developing field with the potential to revolutionize many industries and applications. As autonomous robots become more sophisticated and affordable, they're likely to play an increasingly important role in our lives. Number 5. Humanoid Robots Humanoid robots stem out of the growing need for humans to invent systems that can play the role of humans. This has led to the development of robots that have human appearances and features. With this, they're meant to carry out functions more efficiently and even exceed human capabilities with the power of AI. We've been witnessing crazy advancements in this field, such as the Emeka robot, which has been described as the most advanced robot ever. Emeka was designed by Engineered Arts, a UK-based company that specializes in the design and manufacture of humanoid robots. Engineered Arts has been developing humanoid robots for over 20 years, and Emeka is one of their most advanced robots to date. Companies like Tesla and Boston Dynamics have been doing really great in this field. In fact, a time is predicted when robots will have to take over from humans entirely, enabling humans to focus on more important things. These robots have been fitted with modern-day LLMs, which give them the ability to process natural language and other cognitive tasks. They're also being made to look a lot more alive by being trained on facial expressions and also made responsive to human emotions. A variety of sensors have been included to allow these robots to perceive their environment. The state-of-the-art computer vision systems available today have contributed greatly to this milestone. Number 6. Augmenting Robots This point is a crossroad where humanity and robots intersect. This is the point where we start talking about robots which are designed to enhance human capabilities and even restore lost ones. In a world filled with robots and AI with crazy capabilities, there might be a need for humans to step up to the challenge. Robots which might be designed to help humans achieve this are those we have in this class. They can be used to enhance precision in human activities or even provide some kind of superhuman strength which will place humans on par with machines. Also, people with certain kinds of disabilities and even amputations can get mobility restored with this technology. 
Unlike the other robots, there's no fear of this kind taking over from humans. They exist solely to complement human capabilities and widen our reach. Robotic prosthetics and similar technologies fall into this category. They're bound to bring to life some of the details which can only be found in science fiction. And enhanced capabilities means that humans can be able to process information and understand things that were out of their reach. Though not technically a robot, Neuralink, a company owned by Elon Musk, is quickly developing a technology that, when implanted into the human body, could help enhance functions. It's even expected to restore mobility to people with certain disabilities. These are the six stages, and if you'd like to see more of this, keep in touch with the channel, as we have much more in stock to keep you informed.